Today we're going to talk about Hadley cells and global circulation. If the Earth was purposely still and not rotating on its axis, we would have just one cell with rising air at the equator and sinking air at the poles. But the Earth does rotate, so we end up with more than one cell. At the equator, the air is warmer, so it rises. It causes a low pressure to form. Air needs to replace that low pressure and it heads from 30 degrees north towards the south and is bent to the right by Coriolis. This forms a northeasterly wind. The converging winds cause the air to rise faster at the equator and allows for greater cloud formation. That increases precipitation. Most of the world's rainforests are located near the equator due to this phenomenon. The location of the converging winds near zero degrees is also called the ITCZ, or Intertropical Convergence Zone. The air cools after it rises and starts to sink. The bubble of air formed by that circulation is called the Hadley cell, and they are located on both sides of the equator from zero to 30 degrees. The sinking air at 30 degrees causes high pressure and prevents cloud formation and most of the world's deserts are located at 30 degrees north or south of the equator. That high pressure that's caused by that air sinking also causes divergence at the surface where the air spreads out. Now the winds are heading south and north from 30 degrees <clears throat> and they're bent to the right. If they head north from 30 degrees and are bent to the right, they become westerlies. So we have westerly winds between 30 and 60 degrees. Air from the second cell rises as it reaches the polar front at 60 degrees. You'll find a low pressure at 60 degrees and rising air, which again aids in cloud formation. Air cools and sinks at 90 degrees for the poles, causing a high pressure to be there. The sinking air also decreases cloud formation. The air reaches the surface and diverges and heads back south. It is bent to the right due to Coriolis and turns easterly. These winds are called the polar easterlies. All the while the air loft is traveling from high pressure at the top of the troposphere right above the equator towards low pressure at the poles in the upper atmosphere. The air as it travels towards the poles gets bent to the right again by the Coriolis and it forms jet streams in the upper atmosphere. The subtropical jet is located at approximately 30 degrees north. It does shift with seasons both north and south of that position. The polar jet is located at 60 degrees north, just above the polar front. It is this jet stream that affects our weather here in New York the most. It steers storms and helps them develop into stronger storms or causes them to die out. Both the jet streams flow westerly or out of the page towards you. Note the three cells on each side of the equator. The pressure alternates between low and high every 30 degrees. Clouds form above the lows, winds converge at the lows, and diverge at the highs. The jets are located at about 30 and 60 degrees, and both flow westerly, so they bring us our weather from the western parts of the country. Between 0 and 30, the surface winds are generally easterly, and also they're easterly between 60 and 90 degrees and in between 30 and 60 degrees, winds tend to be westerly.